Okay, this is actually getting irritating. <laughs> Let me just say this. The guy is a bare knuckle fighter, okay? That is not the same thing as boxing. The guy was a MMA fighter. That is not the same thing as boxing, bro. Like, people, like, I don't know what it is that's just making people not understand this. If you really knew boxing, if you've done boxing yourself, you would know there is literally no chance that Mike Perry was winning tonight, bro. In the first... <laughs> In the first round, Jake drops Mike Perry. <laughs> this entire fight was stupid. It was so dumb. But you know what? I respect it, though. Because at the end of the day, some people really thought Jake would lose to Mike. It's just... It doesn't make any sense, man. Like, everyone was hyping up. I'm like, bro, Jake is winning. No, like, with no hesitation. Like, it was like, if you know boxing, if you've done boxing yourself, you know for a fact Jake was winning that. No question, bro. I can't lie. Jake had some damn good. All right, I'm, I'm just saying. Jake had some good boxing skills. It was clean. The jab was clean. Hey, there was an uppercut that he missed. If that would, ooh. Lord have mercy. If that uppercut would have landed on... Uh, that might have been knockout of the night, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Man, that uppercut was this close to connecting. I don't get it, bro. And then he called out Alex Pereira. Like, so... I, it's clear they're not even thinking about fighting JJ at this point. Because he's fighting the likes of Slim and AT. Which, and then him, he's actually calling out... Mike Tyson, the, the guy's about to be 60 in a couple years, bro. And if Mike Tyson beats Jake, that would be a miracle. The dude's almost 60. I don't care what it is, bro. He is not his prime. He is old. The man was walking with canes a couple years ago. So like, the, the man got ulcers in his body, bro. He needs to lie down and relax. But y'all got him out here hyping him up thinking that he's going to beat Jake. He's not beating Jake. Mike is not beating Jake. If he does, that is a miracle. <laughs> Literally a miracle. You're not understanding something. The fact that he's in his older age, you really think Mike can just take a, re a regular punch like when he was back then when he was younger? No. His bones will be more brittle. They'll be more soft. Like the smart, a blow to his forehead hey, would yo. knock him 30 feet from the ring. Let's be honest here, bro. And and here's another thing that that I I've, I've been noticing too. Besides Tommy, why is it every time Jake gets into a fight? Again, I get it. They're not pro boxers, but did they just forget everything they learned in training camp? Where was Mike's defense? His feet was flattish, no head movement. His knees are just straight at... The dude was walking like he's... Mike Perry was sitting still, standing right there in the ring like he was that cinnamon stick from Apple Jacks. That damn commercial from the cereal. Dude was stiff as hell just standing up with his chest and chin all the way up there. Like, the dude was asking to get, to get hit. Jake's like he's throwing hook he's throwing overhands his eyes are closed his eyes are not even open because he knows Mike has no defense he can just throw whatever he wants and he's going he's going to get him and did you see those jabs <laughs> like y'all can be mad at the I, I'm a bit upset at how much they glazed Jake every time he threw a punch but you cannot lie bro them jabs Man, yo, he was killing this dude with the jab. Remember how Tommy was killing Jake with jabs? Man. Man, I, bro. Again, he was 20 to 30 pounds heavier. But, bruv, them jabs, though. Woo! Like, again, you could, you could be upset watching this video. I, I'm upset I had to watch the fight. But I can tell you right now, them jabs... And that uppercut that he oh ooh, if he would have if he would have connected that uppercut would have been nasty. But 
I feel like even if JJ wins against Slim and AT, it's like, what exactly did that do for him? He didn't progress. You know, the only argument that I still think he won against Tommy, but a lot of people say, a lot of people disagree with that. I mean, the the fight looked more favorable favorable to JJ than it did to Jake. Uh, the fact that they call that a split decision, a split decision, but they call J, uh, Jake um, KSI's fight against Tommy, uh, they changed it to a unanimous decision. Uh, yeah, that's that's some fishy work right there. I'm not gonna lie to you, but yeah, bro. Like JJ, he's gonna have to do something, bro. You like you gonna have to like let the world know exactly who KSI is, bro. Like get in that ring and put in work. Like you need to like remind people, hey, like Slim and AT ain't on my level. You know what I'm saying? They good fighters, but Hold up, like I'm KSI. This is my step. Misfits is founded under me. Now I mean, like <laughs> the zone, you gonna respect me. You gonna respect my craft. It can get silly at times. It can be look it can look like Looney Tunes at times. But when I get serious, you know what I'm saying? Like I I, I mean I shut stuff down. Look, man, it's all wishful thinking at this point. Hey, the man's winning. You know, God bless to him. But, yeah, bro, I, I, I still got JJ winning, like, if he actually takes up this fight. But the way they treating KSI right now, bro, they are disrespecting this man. <laughs> he is getting no respect from nobody. Hopefully he, hopefully he does his thing, man, and he, uh, <laughs> hopefully he does his thing, man. Hopefully he does his thing. I, I hope he does, man, because, like, jeez, bro, this is this is nuts. This is nuts. Anyways, if I missed anything, put it down in the comments. Subscribe, like the video. You know what I'm saying? May God bless y'all, and have a great day, man. Be safe. <sighs> what a day.